Hey everyone, it's Todd from Sideshow FX, and this is a very quick video that is going to show you how to do an installation of the Photoshop Shortcut Icons uh, Complete Collection into your computer. So uh, what you see on the screen here, I'm on the Mac right now, and uh, these, this process is exactly the same as it is for Windows, but I'll be cutting away to show you um, on the Windows system uh, the part that's a little bit different. So uh, when you unpack it, you'll get a zip file, and when you unpack it, this is what you're going to see. So we have uh, icons, and this is where all of the icons are located. The next item down is our keyboard shortcuts, and this is one of the most important parts of it. Uh, these are keyboard shortcuts that have been created. So the commands that you get on the Stream Deck profile that are created for you are going to work. So you need to install this keys file. And if you're on a Mac, I'm going to show you where that goes, and I'll do Windows in a second. Support, Adobe, and you go to your current version of Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop that you're using. I have a few loaded here, but uh, I'm using the most recent version, Photoshop 2020. You go into a Presets folder, and you go down to the keyboard shortcuts. And that's where this file should be dragged and dropped. So you just take this file and drop it onto there, obviously. I I uh, have it there already, so I'm not going to do that right now. But that's where that keyboard shortcut file goes. Over on Windows 10, uh, I'll show you where the path is here, And but sometimes you might not have uh, the folder available uh, or, or it might be hidden, so you have to uh, unhide it. So if we go into your, your C drive here, and then under the options menu, so on the menu bar at the top here, uh, we're gonna look at the folder options for the C drive. And go over to the view tab, and you wanna make sure that uh, show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected. Because you need to be able to see this folder, otherwise uh, you just won't see it. So we say okay, because the folder we're looking for here, when we go to users, now we're still in the C drive, we go to users, and go to your username, the one we're looking for is app data. This would normally be hidden unless you uh, select show hidden files. So we go to app data, into roaming, into Adobe, and your particular uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, version. This one is 2020. And you go into the presets and the keyboard shortcuts folder is right here. And that is where you're gonna drop the uh, keyboard shortcut file from your download. And you wanna change the set to the PS Sideshow Effects keyboard set. And that will change everything in the system to the keyboard shortcuts that have been assigned to all the shortcuts that are in the Stream Deck profiles that uh, have come shipped with this package. So now that you got the keyboard shortcuts installed, the next thing to do is to access your Stream Deck profiles. Now, We'll go to Stream Deck, and we click the gear icon at the top here, and we get the Preferences dialog box. As you can see, I have, I have a whole bunch here, of course. But you go to the flyout menu at the bottom here, and you say Import, and you direct yourself to this folder that you've expanded, part of your package and you go into the appropriate profile that you want to load. Since we're on Mac, we go to Mac, and you'll see there's four different ones. Two for the XL, two for the regular 15 key. The reason there's two is there's a labeled and an unlabeled. We're gonna load both these, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's load the first one, say open. It'll load that for me, and it's labeled a copy because I already have this loaded here. So we'll go to the flyout menu again, go import, and we're gonna load the unlabeled version. It loads it in there, and once again, it's it adds the copy to it as well. So we're gonna go to the Photoshop Excel labeled copy, close the preferences, and on the flyout menu on Stream Deck here, we got the unlabeled loaded so we're going to scroll down and go to the labeled and here is the photoshop 
Stream Deck XL labeled file. We want to click on this button here that is going to direct us to go to the, that unlabeled version of this menu. So we, we imported two, one was the labeled, one was the unlabeled. This is going to take us to the unlabeled version. So we click on this button and we're going to tell it to, when this gets clicked, to open the Photoshop unlabeled copy. We'll switch over to the labeled, uh, to the unlabeled copy profile. This button says go to labeled. We're going to make it go to the labeled copy. So now in the Stream Deck, when we hit go to labeled and go to unlabeled, you see it will uh, jump between the two different profiles. So right now we're on unlabeled. You can see we're going to edit. You can see all of the keys are unlabeled. Click the go to labeled, go to edit. Now all the keys are labeled. And that's it with the Stream Deck. It's all set and ready to go for you in Photoshop. Once again, thanks very much for downloading the package. Hope you have fun.